Hey guys, quick video. I'm going to show you how to use a torque wrench. We cover this a lot in AIT 1203. We use extensions and formulas and things like that. But for this class, we'll make it down and dirty. Just a quick uh, uh, video on how to set one of these up. A lot of you have never even used one before, so we want to make sure we get the little information to you. Basically, this is a click type torque wrench, a breakaway torque wrench, as sometimes they call them. And uh, the uh, lab will tell you that uh, you're supposed to torque these. Uh, retaining nuts on the tie bolts of the cylinder that you're going to reassemble after taking it apart. Um, about 17 foot-pounds. This is a foot-pound torque wrench. They come in inch-pound torque wrench uh, 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 sizes too. But this is a foot-pound foot -pound torque wrench. And the way you adjust it and set it up is you pull down on this collar. And there's a scale right here. That go, this one goes up to 80 foot-pounds, okay? And right now it's dialed all the way back to 10. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the collar down just a little bit, okay? And we're going to twist it. And you'll notice there's these numbers. You probably can't see them on the camera, but when you get in the lab, you'll see these numbers inscribed here along the, uh, right around this arc of, the, uh, of this collar. And you know, it starts with zero, and it sits zero on this vertical line right here on the scale. And you'll see all this when you come in. Uh, that's set at 10 pounds, okay? Now the next increment is going to be 20. So we start, we pull the collar down, we start uh, turning it counterclockwise. We're rotating it until we see the 7, because the 10 plus 7 will make our 17 foot pounds. And then you kind of lock it in right there. And then you take it and you just tighten it up until you hear the click. It's a very, very light uh, click. I'm going to back this and off so we can get a little bit better. Okay? So you keep torquing the wrench, uh, torquing the uh, nut with the wrench, and you'll feel it break away just gently, okay? You're starting to get tighter, and it's not going to take 17 foot-pounds, it's not a lot. You hear that break away right there, that's all it takes. You know, there's no need to, to draw down on a hammer down it real hard or anything, 17 foot-pounds. It's like pulling a 17-pound uh, weight with one inch extension on it, okay, and one foot extension on it, okay? So you have to break away, and that's all you need to tighten it. Now, I also talked to you about tightening a crisscross math method. So we're going to go uh, from this one. And instead of going around in a circular, circular pattern, we're going to go crisscross the opposite side. That one's already tight. Then we can go to this one, come back, crisscross to this one. Okay. And if you want to do a final circular pattern, a lot like uh, putting uh, lug nuts on, on a vehicle wheel, uh, you can go around the circle if you want to, but that's the proper way to adjust the torque wrench. Uh, that's the proper way to listen for it to break away so that you know that it's a, the right torque. And you don't want to go beyond that. Just leave it there and just back it off and, and you're good. Uh, and then once you're done, you take it and you run it, count, um, you run it uh, in the opposite direction to run it down. Okay. All right. And you try to set it on as close to zero as you can. All right. You never want to leave your torque wrench torqued. You know, with the was set with the higher value here. Just always back it off. Okay. But that is a quick, uh, like I said, down and dirty lesson on torque wrenches. Make sure you use it properly when you come to the lab. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, see the lab instructor. They'll be glad to help you with the torque wrench. Thanks a lot.